Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to paint your own jig heads. Uh, we've been doing jig heads well before we ever started fooling with YouTube and powder coating them and painting them and so on. From bass jigs all the way up to striper down to crappie and bluegill and stuff. But not everybody's got lead pots and, you know, molds such as this one right here. Or and the powder coating and all that good stuff that goes along with it. You know, some people may not have the time to do that or even be able to afford to do that. But, you know, when you go out and buy jig heads, if you want chartreuse most of the time, you got to buy a pack of chartreuse, a pack of silver, a pack of white, a pack of black, and so on. But today, I'm going to show you, just go out and get you some blank jig heads, whatever uh, size, like this one right here. Uh, this is an eighth ounce, unfinished. And you can paint your own. And I'm going to be going through step by step how to do that. And then after we get done doing that one, I'm going to show you each one of my colors that I use year round. From crappie, bluegill, all the way up to stripers, hybrids, and smallmouth and walleye. All of our lakes and rivers around here is chunk rock, gravels, and wood. And fingernail polish right here, hip freaking holds up. I've went through a lot of the years. Uh, from the expensive type like right here that I just quit using because it just wasn't any good and I settled on one brand and it is LA Colors right here. It's a dollar a bottle at Family Dollar, the dollar store. I think you can also pick it up at Walmart and you can paint a ton of lead heads with one bottle of this right here and it comes in a variety of different colors that I'll be showing you right here. So with that being said, Let's paint some jig heads. Okay, guys, we got the uh, unfinished jig head right here. And the base coat that I put on all my jig heads, it is a white lacquer. As you can see right here, it is a 164 is the number on it. And it's called a French white. And I put a very thin coat over it. Just enough to get that lead of that jig head covered. You want to get all the lead covered on them. Just like so. Just like that right there. And then I've got just a little string hanging up. I just hang it on it and let it dry. It just takes a couple minutes for that fingernail polish to dry right there. After you once get done with your base coat and it is dry, like it just took us like a minute or so to dry, uh, you can go ahead and put your primary color on. This is a 424 right here. It's uh, The name of the color is Wired, and it's got the hardener in it, as you can see right here. The hardener, that's just going to give it that extra strength. And then you just go ahead and just lightly put you a nice coat on there. You don't want to, like, dab this on, put too much on it, because... That'll cause it to have like a drip effect look to it on the end of it when you want to uh, hang it up. Okay, when you want to get your uh, fair enough polish on, take the jig head and hold it by the hook and keep the head of the jig up and then just give it a few little shakes like it right there. Now what that does, it brings the fingernail polish uh, it'll let it smooth out, plus if there's like uh, any build-up spots, it'll bring it down toward the base of the jig head. And that way when you want to hang it up, you don't have to worry about that teardrop effect if you put just a little bit too much fingernail polish on, just like it right there. Okay, after the fingernail polish once dries on the jig head, like this right here on the blue that we're doing, I use a LA color. This is a diamond top coat. I put this on all my jig heads, even though they got the hardener in the other colors. And a little bit of this goes a long way. So you just have to brush a very light coat on that jig head, and that is it. Let it dry, hit ready to store, and go fishing with. Okay, we got a red jig head here, and this is number 400 in the LA colors, and as you can see, it's got the hardener in it as well. Okay, the next one, this is a tropical storm right here. My buddy was killing the walleye on this other night, and this is number 439 
The next is purple. This is a 417. And purple is my favorite color for walleye and smallmouth. So I paint a lot of these up right here. And after I once get the solid uh, purple on, after it dries, I put a coat of this right here on it. This is a 447. And it's like a blue purple uh, metal flake, like a crushed metal flake color, as you can see right here. And it's got the hardener in it as well. And I just put that right over top of that purple. This is the chartreuse one. This is an orange. And this is a gel too. And it's also by LA Colors. And here is one of my pink ones right here. This is the way that I do all my pink jig heads here. I put a uh, primary coat. Uh, this is a 516 right here in pink. As you can see, it's got the hardener in it. After it once dries... I go with a 446. Uh, it's a clear coat with silver metal flake in it. And then after once all those gets uh, dried, I go ahead and I put the top coat on it as well. And finish metal. This is called exposed right here. And it's a kind of like a copperish brown. This is a real good neutral color. Uh, this is what I use right here when I'm out there uh, smallmouth fishing and I may be throwing like a small soft crawl. This, this is 412 right here. It's got the hardener in it. This is a black. And when I once paint the primary color in black, I use a 448. And this is kind of like the purple, uh, clear purple with a metal flake. This has got a blue, real fine, crushed blue metal flake in it. And it just makes that black pop out so good. I don't know how good that camera is getting it there. But it just gives it a little, you know, just a little color to that black air. Uh, they turned out great. And, you know, if you follow these steps like uh, i done in this video right here, you know, and go out and get you some of this L.A. color fingernail polish. I got like 21 bucks in all this right here, and I got enough to paint a ton of jig heads. So, like in my little river box here, when I run low, you can see there's a variety of mixture of colors in there. When I start running low with one color, I can go ahead and paint me some up. Have me a little string tied up like this right here to let them dry, and I'll be right back out there fishing. It's just something that'll save you money buying unfinished and painting them yourself. Uh, for whatever you're fishing for, crappie, all the way up to bass, striper, hybrid, whatever you may be fishing for in your rivers, lakes, and also ponds. But until next time, guys, I hope you check the video out on my lead weights uh, right here, just like these that I've done. I've got a video step-by-step -step how I paint these up. But we got a lot coming down the pipeline. We got a lot of fishing, more videos like this right here. I hope you give us a thumbs up. That'll really help us out here at the channel. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell if you're not subscribed. And follow us here at Cast of Brass. Until next time, stay safe out there on the water. I hope you catch some big ones. And we'll see you right here in the next one. Have yourself a great day.